Hi, this is Ken from Easy Test Pool Supplies, and today we'll be talking about how to add salt to your pool. Before adding salt to your swimming pool, check the owner's manual that came with your salt chlorine generator for the ideal level of salt, which is usually 2700 to 3200 parts per million. We will be aiming to bring the salt concentration level up to this number. Please note that some manufacturers have different recommendations and you should read instructions carefully. Determine the current level of salt in your pool. If the pool is a new installation, then your level will be at zero. You can either use a salt water testing strip or take a water sample to your local pool store to verify current salt levels. Once the level is calculated, determine how many pounds of salt you need to bring your level to the optimal 2700 to 3200 parts per million. First, you'll need to know the number of gallons of water in your pool. For our pool, it's 12,000 gallons. Next, use a salt table like the one displayed here. An example would be, if your pool is at 1,000 parts per million, you would need to add approximately 220 pounds of salt to achieve the desired 3,200 parts per million. These are approximately the numbers being used in the pool, as the bags are 40 pounds each and we added 5 bags for 200 total pounds. The number of bags to add is right in between the two data points on this chart, and it will be better to add more later if necessary than to reduce the salt levels if you go over. Leave the pump on and running to circulate the water as this will help in the salt dissolving process. Be sure to use a salt that is at least 99.8% pure sodium chloride. Do not use calcium chloride or salt with anti-caking agents. For best results, add the salt around the perimeter of the pool. Let it dissolve and circulate through the main drain. Use a pool brush to disperse the accumulated salt on the pool bottom, helping to put it into solution. It could take up to 24 hours to completely dissolve. Once the salt is dissolved, wait a day or so and check the salt levels again. Your pool should be maintained within the range of 2700 to 3200 parts per million. A low salt level reduces efficiency, while a higher than normal level can rapidly reduce salt cell lifespan. For the latest in salt chlorine generators, parts, and advice, visit EasyTestPools.com or click the links in the video description. This has been Kent from EasyTest Pool Supplies talking to you about salt. Thanks for watching.